Hello guys and welcome to another video on Battlefield 1. So today this is something I've not yet done in my channel and I thought I might do it for you guys. So from here on out I'll be doing a review on Battlefield 1's latest DLC Apocalypse. So instead of me pointing out some pros and cons on my opinion for the DLC and rating it out of 10 like some reviewer in IGN, I'm just giving out some thoughts and things I have not liked from the DLC. But anyways, sit tight and bear with me as we embrace the horror. The horror. If you didn't get that reference, it was from Apocalypse Now. I do recommend watching that film if you haven't. So the DLC only includes three infantry maps and two aerial maps, which had me a lot of concerns because I'm not a fan with aerial combat, and having only three maps for the infantry combat was pretty disappointing for me. I really was expecting DICE to add like two or one more infantry map for this DLC, like Vimy Ridge for example. It was a very significant battle for the Canadians because it did truly show that we can fight alone as a nation from the British Empire. As far as maps go, they only added Caporetto, Passchendaele, and the River Song for the infantry, and for aerial was London Calling and Razor's Edge. So I'll start off with Passchendaele, and I have to admit that this was the most terrifying map to play, especially with all that poison phosgene gas cloud and the burning trees in the distance. The map itself was pretty amazing so far, and I did have no problems with it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next map, and it's called River Somme. And this map did take place in the Great First Battle of the Somme, and I do believe this was the first battle when Great Britain introduced the first British Mark I tanks. Uh, the map itself has been alright, and at least had no issues with it at all. And as a matter of fact, I did love with that fact that they did add the poppies to the game itself. Uh, and again, it was a really nice touch for them to have in the song. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next map and it's called Craparetto. This map pretty much did drove me nuts because of the ridiculous spawn placement that just gets me killed a couple of times, like these clips here for example. I, I was beginning to spawn and this guy just get, kills me from behind with some ses SMG and probably thought he was teabagging me, but then he gets shot and killed by my teammate. Man, he's a perfect example of what's wrong with this game. I can honestly fuck. Alright, so I gotta say that I had issues with playing this map, and it wasn't really fun at all when I had to deal with him, but so far as maps go, um, the infantries are alright, except for the issues I had to deal with with Caporetto a couple of times. Now let's get right into the uh, air assault mode, which only includes two maps, and I'm not really a fan of playing as a fighter pilot, but this is the only mode where I can rank up my pilot class. But the maps, I'm actually really disappointed for them adding this to the multiplayer from the War Stories campaign, Friends in High Places. These maps actually did take place in the two parts of the campaign. Um, I was actually pretty much hoping for them to add maps that we're not familiar with, or probably No Man's Land too. Um, I think the mode itself was pretty simple. All you just have to do is just shoot down the enemy plane to earn a ticket when you reach the maximum tickets you win the game but that's all my thoughts for this mode now we're finally at the weapons category so i haven't yet unlocked all the weapons yet but so far i've gotten the ross marksman which was attached with the telescopic sight and as a canadian i actually do love using this rifle as much as the others but um my second weapon i pretty much unlock was the RSC SMG, however, it has a lot of recoil and carried only about 9 rounds. I'm not sure if this weapon would be the best when you spot like 2 or 3 enemies because of the ammo capacity and the recoil with this weapon too, but those were the only weapons that I've managed to get my hands on pretty much. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Um, I think they've added a secret melee weapon, which was supposed to be the broken wine bottle. All you have to do is just basically pick up a wine bottle from anywhere else in the location of the map, and if you get like five kills with the weapons, you will earn this secret melee weapon. Except the fact you can't kill this unbroken wine bottle with the sentry class, uh, we basically tested it out and just didn't do shit. And of course, my favorite thing that DICE added was the uh, guest for Fivermen. Uh, it was a projectile where it shoots two dozen of poison gas canisters and it basically takes pretty much a little bit of damage of the enemies when they're not equipped with the gas mask. I thought it was a pretty nice touch for them to add in that into the DLC.
honestly though. And my last thought that I have for this DLC and which I'm not happy about was that they have not added a operations or front lines for this DLC. Literally. This is pretty much the first time I've ever seen DICE dropping the balls and not adding the mode that they've made since its release for Apocalypse. What in the actual hell were they thinking when they decided not to add any operations or goddamn front lines for this fourth DLC? Uh, I'm actually not surprised with this decision that they've made, and I'm really hoping that DICE can fix this and add an operations for one map or two in the future. That's all my thoughts I had so far, and I've never actually been this disappointed in a video game DLC in my entire life. I, I really just hope DICE won't let me down on the next Battlefield game when it comes out this year, but what are your thoughts on the Apocalypse DLC? Was it disappointing, or did you like the new weapons and the air assault mode? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll discuss about it. Also, I'm giving a shout out to Scott Jordan, who also does video reviews and discussion on video games like I have in this video, and he does a really amazing job with his videos too. Um, his channel will be in the video description, or by the end of this video, I'll put an ending video annotation by his channel. So, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like, if not, just dislike it, and share my thoughts on the Apocalypse DLC to your friends or the Battlefield community, and subscribe if you haven't to see any of my Battlefield 1 uh, No Hard Immersions and cinematics in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Hey Evan, do you want to know what my favorite book is? What? Dante's Inferno. Ah! <laughs>